Hi, it's Shannon sending positive vibrations and love. Today, I felt the urge to produce something positive, upbeat, and inspiring content. Because sometimes you need a hype track with hope that fires you up, makes you feel good. So I'm discussing today at your command by Neville Goddard. As it is such an awe-inspiring read and elevates your mood, state of mind, and consciousness just by dwelling in the I am. Let's just say, take a deep breath in. Exhale. I am. I am. I am. It uplifts your mind and your body and your spirit. Many people feel blocked and they cannot find a way for their dreams or desires to come true. However, according to Goddard, each of us has God within us, an inner sanctum. We can each tap into it and become or achieve anything. The world can be at your command, literally. This means whatever you are conscious of being is what you decreed yourself to be. It's far too common to be your own worst enemy. Your inner thoughts can be either positive or negative and either beneficial or detrimental to your overall growth and development. Goddard states, you must be born again for except ye born again, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. This is not physical rebirth, but a mental rebirth, dissipating and letting go of your present concept of yourself. Or you will come to develop the same present limitations. An analogy is in photography. When the film from the camera is exposed to light, it destroys or tarnishes the images that were exposed. Your mind needs to be exposed to the light of faith, absolute belief, and trust in God's power to transform things and clear all doubts away as the film images are all wiped clean. Humans need to erase their memories. And I'm not talking about the good ones. The thing is, it isn't easy to let go of what you identify yourself to be and who you think you are. Your internal dialogue can wreak havoc on your ability to wipe the slate clean. Because of learned beliefs you adopted and accrued over the years, like if you see yourself as unhealthy, overweight, you don't exercise, you're not physically attractive, you're obese, because this is how people viewed you. And because of this, this is how you see yourself for the majority of your life as an ugly person. It takes a lot more inner work to dismantle these beliefs and see yourself as beautiful, healthy, physically fit, strong, sexy. It will take discipline, willpower, determination, to shape that ideal vision of yourself into reality. But it can be done through meditation, daily, practicing forgiveness to others and the world, praying in secrecy, not allowing others to see you pray, and not telling other people what your prayers are. Once you tell someone else, it hinders the prayer from working due to their doubts and fears entangling into your prayer. Magnifying the Lord, meaning altering your conception of yourself to the state of what you desire. It takes daily practice, such as affirmations, disciplines like cleaning, exercising, making your bed, these daily actions all work in alignment to ratify your convictions of yourself and 
fabricate the reality you desire beyond your eyesight. It takes drastic measures to change the program of your life. Because you are like a computer with pre-installed programming. Windows 10. And you are so accustomed to your daily routine, what you surround yourself with, that it's hard to see something new beyond this. That's why it's quintessential to have faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not yet seen. Goddard mentions Daniel from the Bible in the den of lions, imprisoned. However, he was never eaten by the lions because he trusted, had faith in God. You cannot dwell within your current limitations, beliefs, and conditions to change. To change, you must alter your current consciousness with belief, faith, imagination, visualization for your desired outcome to occur. The process of reprogramming your negative limiting beliefs such as money is the root of all evil, an unhealthy lifestyle, smoking, overeating, obesity, sexual or physical abuse, trauma in childhood or adulthood, they aren't things you can unpack easily, let go of it in one day. They are barriers. It will take a long process to clear out these beliefs, stipulations, start healing and rewire your brain through neuroplasticity toward achieving your vision, goal, dream, desired outcome. But you must put in the daily work. According to Goddard, with God all things are possible and through Jesus that is the way. Declare yourself to be the thing you want until you are lost in the feeling of what you desire to be, till it feels real, like it's actually happening, happening right now. Remember your awareness, your focus, and the outcome you desire must be in agreement, in consensus, that you deserve it. If you believe it, conceive it, do the work, have faith in it being established, then it will become real. Awareness and desire must be in alignment to come from the unconscious mind and become conscious in reality. Prayer is not a form of begging, rather it is a way to claim with conviction, decree, what belongs rightfully to you. Only when you reap what you sow, meaning your desired seeds are planted into the fertile soil of your subconscious mind, in the inner sanctum of God within, and cultivated to grow to fruition through daily work, will you see your results manifest. Manifesting isn't easy unless you have no blockages, no trauma or drama or previous bad programming. And in this modern day society, this is a rarity. I hope you enjoyed this video and try to practice clearing your limiting beliefs to imagine the true life you desire. I also am trying to let go of my limiting beliefs and empower myself to become better to always become the best version of myself. Namaste. And as always, good vibes.